guys, welcome back to Nintendo Minute. So we are doing something really different today. You're seeing us as you've never seen us before. Yeah, I've seen, I'm seeing me as I've never seen me before. Okay. Yeah. So today we are going to be sharing with you our first memory of receiving our very first gaming system, which happened to be an NES. Well, way to spoil it. But anyway. What? Um, what do you mean? It seems like the time is up. right to share these stories because you know the holidays are coming up and a lot of people might be getting maybe a Nintendo Switch, maybe yes. a Nintendo 3DS. And these were very important moments in our lives for both of us. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to share uh, them with you and maybe you'll have your own in a few weeks. Yeah. So I will go, should I go first? Please do. I will go first. Um, so the NES was my first ever gaming system that I ever received and ever played. Um, but I, you know, I think a lot of people might not know this about me, but I actually wasn't born in the US. I was born in China and um, didn't come here to the US until I was five. And when I came here, it was like around November time. And it was like straight up crazy holiday season in the US, which I'd never experienced before. And there's really no like Christmas or like Santa or presents or anything like that in China. So this is the first time ever that I, I've, I've seen, you know, any of, of that. Um, so it's my first Christmas. It was my first time being in like a new, new country, new place. Um, and my parents bought me the NES as a Christmas gift. And I just remember, um, opening that up, like my very first Christmas present on Christmas morning, and then we played Super Mario Brothers like all day, and it was the most, like, I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. We literally did not do anything that day except for play NES, and we just sat in bed and played Super Mario Brothers all day long, it was the best. And it was just a really important, I think, moment for me, because I, I realized that at that moment how much I loved video games, and it was also um, a really nice place for me to escape, since I, didn't really know anybody in the US and I didn't have any friends. I didn't even speak English, I don't think. So having a place to escape um, into like the world of video games was really special. And I fell in love with Nintendo ever since that moment. And now I get to work here, so it's pretty cool. Well, it's funny you should say 1989 because that's when my story takes place as well. Oh boy. So it was uh, the holiday season of 1989 and it was, as you probably remember, the NES mania was running wild among everybody. Um, and at that time, I had played with other video game systems, but they never really, you know, drew me in that much. But I remember one day I was over at a friend's house and he had an NES. He said, well, let's play this. And I thought, well, I've never seen this, but you know, I'm, I'm interested in video games, so let's check it out. And he had Super Mario Brothers. And I was just instantly, you know, drawn into this world, playing it like crazy. I was awful at it because I'd never used um, a controller like the NES controller, but I just knew like there was something really special about this. And of course, when I got back home, Christmas was right around the corner, so I started this insane campaign to my parents and, of course, Santa Claus to get an NES that Christmas. So I wrote Santa the letters, visited Santa at the mall, sat on his lap, told him what, you know, what we needed to, ha to do here. Um, and, of course, I was a very good boy until uh, Christmas. Um, but it, I remember it got to be, you know, Christmas Eve, and I really didn't know if I was going to get this thing or not. I'd done everything I could. I just had to cross my fingers. And I did not sleep very well that night. I, it, it took me a long time into life to sleep well on Christmas Eve, just because I love Christmas so much and I get excited. But this was especially hard. I didn't sleep at all. Uh, but I remember I woke up and you know my parents came in. They said, "Well, Santa's come. Let's go see what we have under the tree." And there was all sorts of stuff. And uh, you know they let me go first, open the present, and there it was, the NES. And I remember I had like an N64 kid moment where I just like held this thing on the ground and shouted, "Thank you, Santa!" over several minutes long. Um, and uh, yeah, from there on, it was just you know a lifelong love of Nintendo and video games, and it's you know definitely the the best Christmas present I ever got, or probably ever will get, and just a sort of an indelible memory in my mind. Well, so we've shared our memories with you, so hopefully you have some memories of your own to share with us. If you have um, a memory of getting your first Nintendo system that you'd like to share, leave it with us um, in the comments below. We'd love to read about them. Um, and uh, if you're campaigning for your first uh, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, or something else this Christmas, good luck. Be very good. Write your letters to Santa. Yes, be good. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to people. Be nice to your parents. 
And um, uh, special thanks to uh, Lee Kovacs, who drew this episode for us. Yes. Uh, they're very talented. You may have seen her on an episode before. Mm -hmm. We'll leave her information below on how you can uh, follow yeah. her if you'd like. So she animated all of this. She's so incredible. Um, and uh, of course, you know, we hope that you guys enjoy this video. And remember, Nintendo Minute is never a minute. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>